welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here welcome my name is emma i'm currently an esl teacher in thailand and today's video is going to be a day in my life i feel like i have not done a day in my life in a really long time it's been like weekends in my life or weeks in my life so today i'm just going to be sharing with you guys what i do on a daily basis and i just feel like a lot of the times we get caught up in daily life and it becomes very mundane routine and while i do have a routine here obviously with teaching and what i like to do after school how i like to spend my time i also do a lot of things that i feel like have a lot of value and help me be a better person throughout the day and continue to evolve and grow during my time here so it's going to kind of be like a self-care self-love kind of day in my life because I have started implementing things that have really made a difference in my energy levels, my mood, how I respond to others, how I respond in the classroom as I'm teaching, and I just want to share it all with you guys. So yeah, today is Tuesday, it's February 23rd, which is wild to me that February is already almost over. Time is just flying by here and it makes me so sad because I love it over here. Um, yeah, today's Tuesday, so I teach my normal schedule. I have about six hours of teaching, but it's about an eight-hour day. And then after school, I'm planning to get a workout in because I like to move my body every day, but I have been learning that a tough, like, cardio core workout isn't always necessary. Sometimes just doing yoga is okay, or going for a walk is more than enough. So I'm just learning to kind of listen to my body and what it needs especially when it needs rest. So I did not work out yesterday though, so I am planning to do a little bit more challenging workout um, later after school. And then we have the Tuesday night market across from our school. So we get lots of fresh fruit there. And then I'm also planning to do a picnic by the river because I now have a motorbike that I'm renting for the rest of my time here. And so I can kind of go like wherever I want, whatever I want, which is so nice. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I just love waking up here. I love my mornings. I love teaching. I love everything about Thailand and what I do here on a daily basis. So I wanted to share it with you guys in kind of a more in-depth um, version than my week in my life. So I do have to change, put on my super cute uniform and head downstairs. Um, so here we go. So I am finished with my first class of the day. It's about 9.30. I was like washing my water bottle because I always forget to wash it. And then I'm like, oh, this tastes weird. So wash my water bottle. And then I actually ended up ordering a coffee, which I normally order a drink like two or three times a week. And this is just one of the times of the week. So it's from this coffee shop that I went to. Let's see if I can get it out from this coffee shop that I went to over the weekend and it was seriously delicious and just like the sweetest owner. So I just love supporting like small little businesses. Um, but it is a vanilla macchiato with ice. And then I also, no, I was gonna do almond milk, but I don't think I ended up doing almond milk because it was 15 baht, which is like, it's only 50 cents. It's not very much, but it costs like 20 baht to deliver it because it's a little bit farther away. So. This coffee ended up costing me about $3, which is actually kind of a lot over here. <laughs> it's so cute because so many people like order drinks um, to work. So they all have like these stickers or tape that they put over the holes so that it doesn't spill. And I just think it's the cutest little thing. Monday and Friday are my easier days. Tuesday in the morning, I only have one class and then I teach at 10.50 and then it's kind of like continuous from the rest of the day or the day on. But um, it's so nice having like two prep periods in the morning because I have like two hours to do things, which thankfully I'm all like all of my lessons are planned for the rest of the time that I'm in Thailand. And so I don't really have a lot to do. Um, I do have a few things to print for um, class today and like the rest of the week that I'm just going to do because our handy dandy printer is right over here. I'm actually in our uh, science classroom right now, which has become my personal office kind of because I have a desk in grade two's classroom, which is my homeroom, um, but I don't really like to do a ton of work in there just because it's louder and um, 
I just feel like I'm disrupting the class like when I go in and out. So I like to just like kind of come in here. So yeah, I'm gonna work on printing those things. And then I've also been listening to this podcast and I have tons of notes. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram, I've been really delving into Buddhism and just like what it is and how it came to be and what the typical or like the foundation of the beliefs and whatnot. So I've been listening to this podcast, which by the way, this song and this whole album by Cam is incredible. This song just kind of resonates a little bit differently with me, but it's called Secular Buddhism. And so I'm currently on episode five and there's like over a hundred, I think. So I'm just like slowly working my way through them, which the first five are all like kind of the foundation of Buddhism and how this guy specifically sees Buddhism. So suffering, which is kind of at the heart of Buddhism, um, interdependence and interconnectedness, um, the illusion of the ego, emptiness, death, karma, mindful living. So I'm just kind of working my way through that. So. Probably I started episode five two days ago, I think, and I have like 20 minutes left. So I think I'm gonna finish listening and taking notes to that because I take pretty detailed notes. I'm like pausing it every two seconds because I'm like, oh, I like that, and then I write it down. So yeah, that's kind of what my morning looks like. of the school day it's a little after four and overall teaching went pretty well I feel like my classes went well there were no huge issues except for my last two classes I feel like by the end of the day the kids are just like so over it they're crazy they want to like just leave and so they were kind of testing my patience not really listening very well but we got through what we needed to do it's also kind of a pointless class it's social and so right now we're in like you know natural social physical environments and like the kids kind of already get that especially with what I'm doing with them in science we've gotten I don't know I feel like I have a lot of steam to burn off just with working out of school internationally it, there's a lot of little things that arise and with the um, like the language barrier even though a lot of them speak English it just doesn't come off the same way or we misinterpret misunderstand one another so there have been some instances of that today that have been super frustrating. And then, as some of you guys may know, I'm trying to continue to teach in Asia. I'm not really ready to go back home to America yet. And so I was hoping to go with the same program I went with here and go to Taiwan, but they are like changing the contract dates and the contract lengths and they're not being very communicative with us about all of this. And so it's just been, incredibly frustrating and i'm just like it's truly just it, communication is so important in all aspects of life and i feel like everyone lacks in communication and i was a communication major and so we would always kind of get made fun of it's like everyone knows how to communicate but not everyone knows how to do it effectively and efficiently so i feel like i have a lot of steam <laughs> to burn off so we're gonna get a workout in i have really been listening to my body lately and trying to um, honor how I feel like my energy levels if yoga is enough or if a bike ride is good enough or if I want to push myself and like get a really good workout in so I love Rachel Good Eats I think she's incredible love her love her workouts they're super tough but um, I know that I can always make it through them and I just love how she organizes them so I'm gonna do another one of hers it's a 30 minute cardio and core workout because on Sunday I did upper body so now I'm gonna do like the rest of my body kind of because I feel like like right now is the time where I have a lot of energy and I'm like ready to burn it off for us sometimes like yesterday I felt more tired because Mondays are already they're just a little more tiring like getting back into the swing of things making sure everything's together and whatnot and so I just did my morning and nighttime yoga and that was about it I feel like things that we see it's like hey like go work out push yourself don't give up where it's like yeah sure but you also need to listen to your body listen to what your body needs does it need just a relaxing day does it need to be stretched 
to just take a moment to close your eyes and do a yoga flow for 20 minutes you know sometimes that's what we need more than a hit workout or an ab workout or something like that so um, I've just been working on that listening to my body and how I feel and what I need just trying to be very in tune with myself and I feel like it's been I feel like I can see a difference in just my mood and my energy and how I feel so it's been really good but Yes, I'm gonna um, eat a yogurt really quick because it's probiotic and I feel like I just need this with like all of the rice and the, some of the meat that I eat. Um, so I'm gonna eat that and then do my workout. All right, I just finished my workout. It was really good. I just, gosh, I just do not have enough good things to say about Rachel. She is incredible. But yeah, I'm throwing on a shirt because we are leaving for the market. I actually went a little past four somehow. I don't know how, it was like a 35 minute workout. I ended up going kind of late. So, throw on the shirt and I need to grab my stuff because I'm gonna pack up dinner, whoa pack up dinner and head to the um, Riverside for sunset tonight. Um, so I just need, what do I even need? I think I'm going to bring my Kindle to read because I'm reading this really good book, which I'll chat about later because I don't have time right now. Um, but it's called The Vanishing Half and it is wonderful. Um, and I'm not really in the mood to like listen to podcasts or journal or anything like that. So. I think that reading will be nice, so I've got, I need my mask, is that all I need? Mask, I might need my wallet, might be important if I need to buy anything. What is like key, mask, wallet, those are the important things. So I made it down to the river. You guys can probably hear all of the birds chirping. It's a very popular place um, for birds, but also for just like people to like walk up along the river because it's beautiful here. So it's like a 10 minute bike ride, motorbike ride from my house. It's beautiful. One of our city's most famous temples is right across, which I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, I have my dinner here, which I will also show you, but I have my Kindle with this book that I'm reading called The Vanishing Half. It is just such a good read, um, which it's been recommended by a lot of people, so you guys may have heard about it before, but it's basically just about these set of twins, and they're raised in this um, black town, and so then they, the twins like go off, they leave this small town to explore the world. One of the twins marries like this black man and has a very dark child, and then the other twin like disappears and she kind of like becomes this white woman and everyone thinks that she's white so I just think it's really interesting especially in the space and time that we're at right now learning about black history especially since it's black history month and just trying to understand different races cultures ex life experiences um, I just think it's so important and it's really interesting too from the twin perspective because I just think that the concept of twins would be so weird to have this person who is literally almost the exact same as you and like you get each other in such a intimate way but then you're like so different too and you like can't always be together and i don't know it's just really interesting really beautiful i love how it's written i love the perspective of um the two women and their different lives that they chose and their occupations and their life partners their children it's just a beautiful read so would highly recommend you guys always ask for book reads here is my dinner it looks delicious we have a sprite because i don't know why but i've been craving sprites um apple peanut butter some pineapple from the market that i got and then i've been making tacos a lot this past couple of weeks so i have some lettuce, tomato, corn, and then some taco seasoning and Caesar salad dressing, which is like really sweet here, so it's actually pretty good. Um, then I have some pretzels. This one of my students gave me, I think it's a butter cake from one of the restaurants around here. And then, yeah, I've got my book, so I'm just gonna hang out here, enjoy the sunset. It's turning a little pink back there. And then you guys can see the moon up here, which I love looking at the moon and stargazing here. It's just like so clear. And then this is kind of a main temple here in my town. And we've got the river, it's just beautiful. 
back home from dinner it's actually about 8 15 i think i got back around 7 and i did my dishes because we got in trouble for not doing our dishes one day a couple of weeks ago lols um and then i made my overnight oats for tomorrow morning it's like my favorite thing ever because i just walk down it's so easy and i just like top it with a little bit of fruit and so delicious um so i did that i came upstairs chatted with the roommates for a little while um took a shower and now i'm sitting down with another cup of tea i really have not been drinking coffee like the coffee i ordered earlier i didn't even tell you it was so bad like the coffee itself was good i just feel like iced coffee is just not jiving with me at all hot coffee i've always been a fan of hot coffee but it's not as popular here because it's so hot here so iced is obviously kind of the default but um it's just not a fan so i gave it to carly because she likes iced coffee um so yeah i've been kind of opting for tea a little bit more i have uh, this one is green tea fused with lemon and then I also bought black tea fused with lemon because I think green tea has less caffeine and black tea has more I think so black tea is kind of like my morning one and this is like my night one I'm gonna sip this tea I also have some dried mango to munch on and then I am going to start or not start I'm starting a new episode but it's a show called Joanna Lumley's Silk Road Adventure and basically she's just like kind of going along the Silk Road from Venice to China and like going through all these little towns, explaining the trade routes, like businesses that were really instrumental to it, instrumental to it, um, just like all these things. It's so cool. So the first episode, there's only four, which is a bummer, but the first episode was Venice, Albania, and Turkey. It's like gorgeous countries. I've been to Venice. I want to go to Albania and Turkey. Like Turkey just looks amazing and in symbol um specifically in Cap cappadocia cappadocia or something like that where like there's all those like caves and whatnot and just looks gorgeous um and just like culturally really amazing too and so this episode is georgia and azerbaijan and then there's iran and then Uzbekistan and kyrgyzstan so it's just a really interesting show and i feel like it's nice to be able to watch something but not have it be like mind numbing and instead like learning more things it's enjoyable obviously because even though i am living abroad and i am able to, tra to travel i can't leave thailand and so it's nice to like experience other countries because i miss like just traveling and backpacking around because that's like the best but yeah i'm just gonna watch this so for the rest of the night um it's about 8 20 so probably watch it till nine maybe read for a little bit and then i've been doing nightly yoga which has been so good I feel like i've been sleeping a lot better as well i also i don't think i showed you guys but on my i showed you on instagram get close up I showed you on instagram but not on here but i got this new piercing um my cartilage here so it's a little tender i actually need to clean it that's why i'm showing you because i'm remembering that i got a spray it with some salt water um because i clean it in the morning but i actually forgot this morning and then at night and i just like spritz it on a little bit i really clean it in like the shower like i'll like i don't put soap on it or anything but like i let the water run over it for a little while so anyways i just really really like it and i feel like it's healing pretty well it's definitely tender when i touch it but it's not like terrible it's a lot better than i expected so yeah that's what my night looks like i feel like once it gets dark around seven i'm just like in bed sipping tea, reading, watching videos, um, watching Netflix, <laughs> like podcasts, um, you know, my Buddhist podcast, which I finished earlier, which was so good. Highly recommend. It's just like a great, just great things for how to kind of live your life. It doesn't even necessarily have to pertain and like that you have to be a Buddhist to do this because you don't like, and I have, a, I feel like I've been a lot more open about like learning about buddhism on instagram just because i actually haven't vlogged in like a really long time i did two weekends in my life so that's like four days over the course of the past like two and a half weeks so it's been a while um but yeah i've just been delving deep into it and this secular buddhist podcast is just really good really informational just because i really was never exposed to buddhism didn't know what it was and then when i got here i was like okay like i need to start learning about it because it's just it's 
ingrained in their culture and their society and so it's i find that it's important to know about the culture that you're living in and as i visit all of these beautiful temples and all of the beautiful buddha statues um i just thought that you know it's important to learn about it and it's a really neat um ideology and mythology of how to live your life and so i've just been kind of delving into that as well like walking watching documentaries and videos from the monks perspectives and stuff like that so yeah i'm usually just kind of like doing like not research but like this is kind of like when i like learn or um I don't know, try to invest in my knowledge base. Also, I got this scrunchie the other day and I'm obsessed with it. This is the first scrunchie I've ever owned, ever. And I love it. And it was like 30 cents or something. It was so cheap. Is something comfy? And let's get started. 